Okay, you guys, welcome to part three and our final part of the course vlog here at Mid Ocean Club from the 17th, part three. It is 190 to the flag, well, to the center of the green. And the ball, is, sorry, the flag is in the center of the green, so we have 190 yards. It looks left on here, but the flag all goes, so the green all goes around the corner to the left. Into the breeze slightly, so five iron, even though it's dropping down a little bit. And it looks like it's a lead short of the green, sorry, at the front part of the green as well, so I want to carry that. So I want to be about 10 yards right of the flag. And if yep. anything, maybe a little bit bigger than the end of the world. Yeah, big is good. So five iron is a good one here. Could probably get there with a six, but you just sort of push in a little bit. Yeah, so taking the front trouble out of the plate. Okay. Sounds good, doesn't it? Could work. I'm just going right side of the green. Not sure. It's hard to see it down, but it's so bright the sun is. It's heading towards the right side of the green. High ball flight, pretty neutral, so it's probably come down soft. It could be short, it could be in the bunker, it could be on the green. Can't see anything really. So, same again. Hitting a draw shot. Well, slightly straight, but definitely from the right side. It's nice. Whoa, come on, it could just be the hole in one. Uh, we're not going to see it on camera. It it's too dark. It's drawn a bit left to the flag, only a touch, but it's, I think if that's the club, it's good. The bigger the flag. But you know what, there is a bit, there's a, we are elevated here as well, so we haven't really put that into account, Pierce. No, I did, but I just thought there was too much breeze up there. Hmm. Pierce has. Here, it pitches here, you're right, it's actually going to go all the way down. So all, all he needs to do here, he's going to land this. Probably just in the centre of the screen here, guys. There, just to, before my shadow. I think I need to hit a three-yard bunker shot. Yeah, I think you're right. So a soft one here. Let the club slide underneath the golf ball, and the slope will do the rest of the work on this piece. Okay, this could get close. This one. And he's played it nicely. He's played it very nicely. Get left there. Come on, come on. Sit down. Yeah, good shot. It's just carried on a little bit. But yeah, good shot from there. You've got about a six footer. 20 feet, two feet from the left. Oh, just under hit it. Sometimes they, they can get you these, and pace for us today hasn't been bad, but it can be tricky. So, having a good look at what's going on here from down. Notice Pierce is getting good way back so we can get down low and really have a good look at the lie and the uh, contours of this green so again coming back up the hill with these greens you've just got to make sure you're hitting firm Just pushed it just to the right there again. You can see how even that didn't go too much past the hole. I think up, uphill they've caught us out a little bit with these. You really have to give them a little bit more. Okay, one hole left then, Andy, of this uh, beautiful golf course in mid-ocean. So we're going to hit a drive here. Now, there's a little bit of a talk about your routine, if we, if we could, please. Okay, so routine, I've assessed the planner, first of all. I know exactly, obviously, on this hole I can't see it, but I know where the danger is. I know where I want to carry the ball and where I can carry it past. So now I'm really thinking about um, the type of shot I want to play. In this instance, a lot of danger on the right. Okay, so I want to really hit a little bit of a cut. So I want to start it left and sort of fade it back towards the middle of the fairway. So I have to sort of decide on the shot that I want to play in my mind first. And then really I'm going through my normal routine. But I want to pick my target in the distance, which is the sort of palm tree on the corner right over the middle of that bunker pit. That's where I might want my ball to sort of finish and land there. Okay, that one there in the middle of the screen. Because we know there's a bunker at 288 yards on the left-hand side. So once you've done your plan, then there's an image that you put into your mind of how the shot's going to look, sound, feel and all of that. Yeah. And then I'll have a couple of practice swings, just feeling what I want to produce in terms of the golf swing. And then I'll go ahead and pick that target, focus on my spot, and then commit to the shot. Okay. So strategy, imagery, commit. Sounds like the recipe for disaster. No success. All right. Okay, so yep, hit it pretty solid today. Let's see if we can finish off with another good tee shot, please. Let's see if you can reproduce what you just said, because that'd be mildly impressive. I mean, it'll only leave you a flick into the green, 100 yards max.
Started it maybe a little left of where you wanted, but it's not going to be far off that end target that you said. Just got to hope maybe the bunker, it yeah, is, so I think it's a bit right to that, isn't it? So it bounces fine. So it bounces, but it does roll as well sometimes, the golf ball does. You know, the one thing about, one thing I'm pleased about that again is that I've, I'm, with there's so much danger on the right, so I do not want to be there, so I'm playing away from that danger. So I'm aiming left, and the ball's bending back to the right, and uh, that one's left side of the fairway, in a good spot. Or in the bunker. Well, what are you going for? Same shot. Same shot, left hand same side, a little bit of fade. <coughs> Total sense to me. This hit it's pretty straight actually, it's sort of going down towards there. So that'll be yours. sort of went a little bit fade, but just a little, little too far down the left. But you know what? Again, still in a good place. There's not much danger over there, and it's just a bunker, isn't it? There is the bunker, but that's not the end of the world. A, a, a pitching wedge out of a bunker, full shot, is not really going to be. Massive. What have you got? One twenty-two was it? One twenty-two to the flag. Slightly downhill lie, which means it's going to go lower and potentially further with a short iron. But the breeze has done a weird one. It's kind of flipped around and now it's into. <laughs> You can see the flag right in the middle of the green. Be looking to attack that. Three quarter wedge. Slightly lower ball flight than normal. Is that drawing in? If it's drawing in, that's great because I've got it seeing it going from the right. Wow. A little short. Fun again. Yeah. Just a little short though. It's obviously, that wind has got up strongly. It's weird, isn't it? When you, you play a par three into the wind and then suddenly you play it directly the opposite direction. Okay, so Pierce going with a uh, pitching wedge here, 105 yards. Good tip to go in these bunkers, guys. So always take one more, one more club, or sorry, one less club. So slightly lower loft. Pierce likes to look at the top of the ball here. Don't get his feet too much in the sand. 105 yards. Clipped it away nicely. It's going at the flag. Might be a little lower than he wanted, but let's see where it lands. Back of the green needs to spin. Didn't quite there, but he, key thing is there, he got it clean, guys, there, and he's got it up there. Close. You know what? A yard left, that's zipping down the green, but in this stuff, it's not going to spin out of that, unfortunately. Good look back here at the clubhouse here at Mid Ocean and how that overlooks the 18th hole here and how it overlooks the, uh, the ocean over there. So when you finish, have a drink and enjoy the scenery. Okay, so Pierce using a 52 here. Just needs to trickle it down there because it's quite fast really, just needs to get it running down towards the hole. Here we go, it's on its way. Come on! Is it in? It just needs to turn. Yeah. It looked good, it looked good Pierce, good that, chip. That was, a, that was fast, because <laughs> I chipped that well, it got a lot of grip. I can't speak, I was that good and I'm like excited. <laughs> they had a load of check on it, didn't they, that? Yeah. And it still rolled all the way down, I was going to hit nine on it, you know? Take that away. Good four there in the end. Right, okay, so Andy for birdie. Let's see if he can get one at the end. I'm not sure he's score actually, is it pretty solid? It hasn't quite got the greens, normally gets them very well. Slow putt, turning from right to left. Oh, oh look at his face. Close. Thought he got it. Yeah. So I've, you know, I've struggled with these greens today. You've struggled to get the pace, haven't you, and the lines, and uh, definitely a different different type of putting isn't it yeah. on these greens it feels grainy it feels like you almost it almost feels like the green you know the green and the grain is just pulling the golf ball down the slope it's all against you basically yeah. okay guys that's the end of part three of our course for Pierce while playing some good golf much. there here yeah, at Mid Ocean sharp as well well done yeah so I hope you enjoyed that guys uh, big thanks to Chris and Kevin here at Mid Ocean Club um, post your comments down below what do you think of the course I'm sure you'll uh, like the scenery and what do you think about golf as well and if it's the first time you've seen this guys make sure you click the subscribe button for videos every week absolutely hope you enjoyed the little bits of instruction in there as well and also make sure you check out the rest of the videos that we've done on our trip in Bermuda and if you haven't already go to me and my golf.com seven day free trial is there this could be your best ever year 2016 thanks for watching and see you soon cheers guys